Hey everybody, welcome back to Cyberpunk TV. Um, if you remember, we're trying really hard to find a, a combat psycho cyborg guy named Connor. And um, he's supposed to be in the industrial district, but we went there, found a whole bunch of dudes, and did not find him. So let's try again, shall we? The industrial zone is a very little space. Like, it's just, here it is. This is it. I mean, there's nothing else here. Um, so we're going to go to the Splicer's Warehouse again. Just poke around. This is this promises to be very boring, so if you don't really want to watch this episode, that's entirely fine. Um, eventually I'll figure this out, but... As of right now, who the hell knows? Yeah! Alright, so let's see. Let's put some pieces together while we're doing this. Um... So I have no idea what's going on with the, the AJ storyline. I mean, it started out with the same guy that Sam wanted us to find, Finch. And now it went from, like, food poisoning to half a dozen other things. And I'm really not sure. Man, I want a super jump mod. I'm wondering if there's something up there to get, if I have one. Ugh. I'm... Do I have enough money for one? Nah, I only have, like, $400. Um... Tisk tisk. Oh, am I not even in the industrial zone anymore? Yep. Let's go back to the Splicer Warehouse. Because if that's where what's her name was supposed to be being protected, and they, they they're definitely dead. These Splicer guys are are toasted. Is there any other warehouse to go to? Like there really isn't, is there? It's just this part that we're pretty familiar with. How many times have I climbed this ladder now? Like five, six? This is getting pretty ridiculous. Um, okay, we're not going in there. I'm gonna follow this. It's like, this is the warehouse, right? Now, let me read that correspondence again. To Shinji. Okay. Head Freddy, help me. Get some static and catch the old waves from some of the illegal networks. We can even broadcast the thing. So, so you just have to do a bit of tinkering. The left switch has to be on T, then choose the frequency. Cause like this isn't I don't see any like puzzle stuff. Like, you know, the radio transmitter's gotta be hard to miss. It's gonna have switches, it's gonna have some buttons that I need to push. I just I just don't know, man. And I'm assuming that like it's gonna be in the fight should take place in the zone that they marked, right? It should it should be here. This is the industrial zone. See but really wondering if I can't get up higher this way. Because there's a hole. Climb down it. There's like nowhere to go from here. Uh, alright. We're gonna, we're gonna just play my hunch. Alright? My hunches have seldom been wrong. Let's go get spliced up. Get some leg mat. Get some leg fight. Uh, get some super legs. Even though it wasn't one of the the one the mods I really wanted, it's gonna be fine probably. Let's see how much money we need. Oh lordy! All right, what? Hello again. Give me one of your implants. I want super legs. High jump. Okay, seven hundred dollars. <coughs> we're already at four hundred, so we're like sell a gun and some ammo away. Also, let's go see if we can talk to Hank. I remember he came up in conversation and we should be mad at him, but we'll see. How do you pro I guess we honestly don't care. Um 
Sell, 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 sell. Um, don't have a shotgun. Don't need any of this stuff. Perfect. Didn't even have to sell our antidepressants. All right, let's go get let's go get robot legs. And then let's see with one once we have our robot legs if we will ever grow tired. I don't believe this will do what we want. I'm just playing my hunches now. Um, I may have to go and look it up. Hello again. Give me one of these. All right. How do I? Oh, okay. It's pretty good. It doesn't really. Oh, can I just do it all the time? No. Okay. I. Can. All right. Does it cost focus? Not really. It's just super legs. All right. So with our super legs, let us return to the industrial area. Cool. Now, go up here. Go up here. Okay. Are you ready? Go up. Go up here. All right. Cool. So that's definitely, I've already accomplished something. I got a high-end data chip. Whoops. I'm just using that accidentally all the time. Okay, okay, oh, okay. Good. Crud, stop that. Crud. No. All right, so that was rough, but that was the right call. I am super stoked about that. Um, so it's not a waste. I just gotta get spliced up and climb super high. So let's save. I also you just use my last healing item, but I think it'll be fine, right? It'll be fine. Radio room. Yeah, boy. All right, so. Um. Transmit. Uh, I forgot what his signal is. <laughs> um, 1077. 1077 FM. Okay. Yeah, buddy. That's going to suck for someone who uses radio frequencies to heal himself or something. I don't know. Um. I really should go get some health kits before I try to fight him, though. So maybe I should just chill for a second. Yeah, I'm just gonna chill for a second. Here we go. We're gonna, it's really a quick jaunt. We're gonna go back to Chinese Quarter. Actually, let's go to Fixer's Hope and get drugs from the guy himself. All right, go. Give me some health hey. kits. Um, cool. Now, back to the industrial quarter. It's not what it's called. It's called the industrial zone. I just call it a quarter. I don't know why. Like, I'm just, like, thinking all fancy. All right. I'm great. Now I'm even taller than I should have been. It does not help us. All right. So that's set. I'm going to save. I'm going to bet that we're going to encounter our bud pretty soon here. So I'm going to shoot him with this thing. There's some dead splicers. Where's our boy? This is boss fight. There he is. I don't know who you are, but this is where you keep walking, lady. Uh, I'm all right here, thanks. Does Navarro ring any bells? Navarro, huh? If I'd known he was gonna send girl meat to his gunfights, I'd put a slug in his skull, not his belly. Oh, it was you. Pity you had to get involved in this, kid. Seems he didn't get my last message. And I have to send him another. <laughs> Jeez. His gun is dope. Blah, 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 blah. Done. Blah, 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 blah. Done. All right, we're going to jump down because we're cool. Yeah. All right, now let's equip the dark gun. I don't know who you are. You sure are. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Okay. Okay, now heal. Oh, it got rid of it once I ran out of them. Um, put this on the... There. Oh, clipped in the back as I ran away. All right. Let's... Can we just do some stuff really quick that will hopefully save us some time later there now?
All right, here we go. I don't know who you never a pity you had to. Dude, he's so brutal at range. I think I'm just gonna have to shoot him with my dart really quick and then just roll toward him as fast as I can. Because there's really not much I can do other than to just do my best. Also, I'm gonna just have to re-equip my health kits for the third time. And I just used one. Great. Whatever. It's fine. Not a huge deal, I guess. I don't know who Yeah, no, whatever. Pity you had to get him. Yeah, that's what we wanna see. Kick me. That's really useful. Wow, dude, you turned out to not be that strong if I actually just get close to you. I like, ooh. I like your little in, your little inadequate kick. Oh. Who? What are you? I'm just a regular person. It just so happened that the radio frequency that breaks your universe is widely publicized. Also, I shot you with a dart that completely made your pain augments go away. So I'm the one that turns you over to Navarro. The one that ends you. Stop. Listen. This, this is my last job. Look at me. I'm too old for this game. You can see I was ready to quit. I'm telling you the truth here. You know what you sound like? You sound like Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. That's what it is. Just, just let me go, and I'll disappear. You'll never see me in the city again. I'll even transfer you some cash. I'll throw in an implant, a transplant. Come on. What have a heart? Looking. I'm not dealing in options here. You surrender now. Come on. What do you care? Navarro told me you've, what you've become, how you've changed, why you've changed. I ain't changed. Just less places to hurt when I'm remembering. Take me in. Get it over with. It's time you saw your old friend. There was a... Ah, that's some takedown, lady. I never thought I'd see the day. This will make a difference. Young blood in the force. We'll give them a real kick. Always bitching about being outgunned by augments. You've proven a lot of people wrong, lady. <laughs> no one more than Connor. You sure took some risks. Here's that piece I promised you. And we had to remove another one of Connor's implants. A dead shot. Even unarmed, he was dangerous with that thing plugged into his brain. You can have it. And my thanks. Hey there. I had a real long sit down with Connor. Great. Um, let's use that. There was a lady that he was attacking that I just rescued. So can I please go back to the industrial zone and talk to her? Or will she have been gone as well? Um, you know, I do like my, my super legs. To be fair, I have no buyer's remorse on that one. This is possibly the best thing that ever happened to me. Okay, maybe I need to calm down a little bit, but. Okay, lady? What's up? Great. That's great. Thank you tremendously. Though I'm quite at a loss as to how you did it. The monster looked like he could fell a rhino. Damn Armagear freaks. Ew. Um, what was your deal with the slicers? You look a bit proper to be, be dealing with street gangs. I'll take that as a compliment. I needed their help, their protection from Armagear. As you can see, they got in way over their heads. Silly fools for taking the job in the first place. Why would Armagear be after you? Who are you? I used to work for them, lead researcher in bioweapons. I guess you could say I was a high-value asset. Okay. And then I got a better offer. Some foreign firm, all very hush-hush, I don't even know who they are yet, offered me a relocation package. Just in case anyone at Armagear was sad to see me go. 
Rather clever how they predicted Armageddon's reaction, thinking about it. Anyway, I was supposed to be extracted, don't you hate that word, and brought to a rendezvous point. From there, my new bosses would take me to their lab. And then, it went all Armageddon squads and cyborgs. Well, I rescued a national cello. What's your plan now? You do realize national is just a shiny new word for tribal, don't you? Oh, never mind. As to my plan, I'm currently in a process of reformulation. My extraction ship appears to have been seized by Armageddon, and I'd say they're one step ahead of my new employers. Look, I'll confess, I'm a little short on options, okay? But you seem a resourceful young dandy. You could have perhaps tossed me a suggestion or two, could you? Is that you asking for my help? I don't expect you to have read the latest scientific papers on social exchange mechanisms, but oh to hell with it. You'll get a big fat wad of credits just as soon as you get me out of here, okay? Are we best friends now? Well, I'm listening. You've got a way of pushing people away. Did anyone ever tell you that? <laughs> Look, what I need are the coordinates of my rendezvous location. They'll okay. be in the Eclipse, stored somewhere on their servers, I imagine. Highly encrypted, I'm sure. Some gold star hacking skills might come in handy. Or at least a dash of good old-fashioned luck. Um, how do I access the Eclipse? Well, it won't be at the pier. It dropped anchor a few miles from the docks. To reach it, you'll either need to be a superhuman swimmer or find some boat to take you there. Okay, what will you do with the coordinates once I get them? I will go there. <laughs> They'll probably only wait a couple more days before they forget I ever existed. Hence why I need to make this snappy. Um, yeah, alright, I'll do it. Better tell your boss to have my money Don't ready. you worry about that. I'll be waiting for you at the Capsule Hotel, downtown. As good a place as any to live. Alright. Good enough. I mean... Aim with deadly precision. That sounds really cool. We're probably going to take that. Um, and we're probably going to have it put into our brain. Shotgun, dark gun. See, I'm going to probably unequip that from my actual thing. Because uh, it's not really that useful. Get my little shotgun out. What a cute boy. Um, and I don't have any more ammo for that. And I have a few... Okay, so this is what I'm going to use. Um, two more skill points. I can get some more hacking stuff. Wow, increases the damage of all your weapons by 33%? That is definitely what we're doing. Sorry, hacking skills. Just the idea of a magnum that does that much more damage is pretty darn spicy. Um, okay, so I need to get out to that boat if I'm going to help her. And I know exactly who's going to talk to me. I might need to get some more equipment before I do this, but I am definitely going to secure my ride. Because um, this boy and his little Bodhi, look at her, she's she's wonderful. Um, going to get me out there. You're back. Do you need something? Yeah, I need to get on board a ship, the Eclipse. Do you know where I can find it? The Eclipse? Sure do. But why would you want to be going there? Something big went happening on deck just the other evening. Saw it all from here. Some kind of nasty. Guns and all. A lot of people didn't get up no more, and I'll tell you that. All right, well, I need to get on it. Can you help me? Unless you're a fish, you're going to need someone with a boat. But don't you be looking at me. Port security watch is anything going in or out, and you can't even get near the Eclipse without some special kind of ID chip. ID chip? What's that? Ah, I'm just about done with my gabbing lassie. Look, each ship's got an ID chip. So the biggies in the tower know who's in and who's out. If you're not authorized, they blow you clean out the water. That big turret over there, that does the blowing. All right, what if I take out the turret? Ha! <laughs> Go right ahead, darling. I'll sit here and watch. Isn't there another way to get an authorized ID chip? I suppose you could get one. It would need to be a proper one, clean, and visible light. But you'd need to know some crafty bugger to do that for you. I'll try to make yeah. it safe. You do that. Yeah, alright. Well, guess what, buddy? I take off the You're turrets. Back. Yeah. You're kidding me. You must have some real business with that there eclipse. I did it by accident a long time ago because I thought it was turning off the turrets in the dock warehouses. Uh, I am not a smart man. Fine. I'll have Clara ferry you over. Just the small matter of the fee. 200 credits cover it? Being as it's a risky ride. You're into yeah. it? Yeah. 
Shit. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Oops. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaks. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaks. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Watch this now. gonna keep doing that man i've got n i've got no pride don't even care oh look another takedown freddy are you still alive man i told you lydia was bad news that cyborg freak took out everyone and now armor gear guys got us cornered got two choices help them get on that ship or find lydia or die protecting her we're fucked man but you have to get involved someone get back to recycling part bike parts this ain't our game that's probably true. All right, we're not going to push any further that way for right now. We're going to actually go up. Just hold on here. I want to see what my shotgun can do. Darn it. That is not as effective as I was hoping it would be. Uh-oh. Okay, it does do a lot of damage, but it's kind of miserable otherwise. That did nothing. That did so much nothing. Oh, that's gross. Okay, wait. If I'm a little smarter, do you think I could do something a little better here? Like, I have a couple of plans. What if I... Yep, that got me alerted, anyway. Alright. Um, sneaky, sneaky, sneaks. Sneaky, sneaky. Stop this. <laughs> wow! Okay, that was not great. Okay. Um... Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna clear the bottom floor, right? We did that once before. Let's do this, and then while he's getting strangled, we'll hack some dudes, and then we'll hack this guy too. Okay, strangle, strangle, hack again. Perfect. Perfect. Got it. Now, these two, we're just going to take down the old-fashioned way. I'm shooting you in your head, but it's not working. I got you. <laughs> All right. Um... Some stimulant pills, that's an awesome thing to have. Some more stimulant pills. Okay. So we're, we're doing pretty good. Um, let's save right here. Because now we can approach this door, this, this top part of the boat from this side. Maybe that will do better for us. The most boring firefight. All right. Um, I have a new plan. I'm going to fist fight this guy. Ready? They are not prepared for that. His anemic super guy kick just can't, just can't handle it. He can't handle my moves. Oh, he can. Never mind. Oof, come on. Got him. All right. 
Um, I'm just gonna save because this is this is do or die time, guys. This is this is rough. shot you in the back of the head with a shotgun and you know what you did you shot me back first all right there's a guy under here so let's just do this can we take these guys down we really can't oh i got you buddy right where i want you never mind why do i always open up my big stupid mouth Good grief. All right. <laughs> yeah, that was... I don't know what I was thinking there. All right. Um. I've just got a block. Like, what if I... What if I just, like, punch, 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 block. Punch, 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 block. Like... This is quality entertainment. Do you know what I hate? That that is the most solid way I've been able to defeat these guys yet. That. I'm just disgusted. I don't even know what to talk about. Oh my god. Alright. So that's that floor. So now we have the one that was giving me trouble before, which is directly underneath this one. But with my newfound respect and ability to use tactics, I should be okay. Um, I actually am wondering... Can I go back, or, or is that it? Can, will you take me back and forth? You're done? I didn't hear a thing. Quieter than a cockle's fart, yeah. Mike to have time. But let's not be Okay, will he take me back? Like, can I go back? Ready to sail, lassie! Yep, okay. <sighs> I just didn't want to screw myself over and be unable to get what I need. I need some healing items and some ammo, both. And I've only got $600 to do it with, so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be doing here. Um, just buy a couple of health kits, hey. maybe? two health kits and then let's get um just ammo that i actually need for something like the shotgun ammo is i've got a little bit of that it's it's garbage oh and i have three i didn't even know nice all right that's not terrible so i just need some magnum ammo let's go to hanks and buy some i am just struggling with these controls today oh my gosh um Chinese quarter. That's all I got. All right. That's not great, but I do actually have a healing item now, so there is that. All right. Um, back to the docks and then back to the boat, I suppose. This was like the least good covert mission ever. Actually, I don't have enough money to get healed. <laughs> Let's just use one of these right away. All right. Um, I'm going to call this an episode. This has been a really fucky episode, but I'm going to call this an episode. Uh, you have been wonderful. This has been Cyberpunk TV. We'll be back with more decks. Not too long.